Hello, 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 my lovelies. It is Freaky Fridays on talkradio.com with your hostess, Cypher Kai, in the building. I'm on location this evening. It is pouring, raining in New York City right now, and I'm kind of more than a little upset that I'm not somewhere fucking and drinking something strong. Strong dick, strong drink. It's not happening right now, but I'm just saying... Oh, sorry. Let me give my disclaimers. Yes, I figured you guys are, you know, versed in the show by now. Let me give my disclaimers. So, it is Freaky Fridays here on www.tawkradio.com forward slash shows. And this is an adult platform. Explicit content, headphones required. So, no prudes. Put your babies away, get something to drink, get a paper and pen, you might learn something. Now, I apologize. I sent out a link a little while ago to my VIPs and some avid fans, and I didn't put a show topic up because I didn't quite have one. I was just going to dig into the email bag. And then I had a really great conversation with uh, two people, actually. My topical consultant, <laughs> that's what I'm going to call him, my topical consultant. This is a gentleman I speak to uh, during the course of the week, and we always have something interesting that comes up. And so tonight, you know, he touched on something. His topic I'll bring up next week, which is what's expected in a relationship, which I think is very important. But my second topical consultant, because they had to split <laughs> the title, he was mentioning something to me I had no idea about. We're going to dig into it tonight. We're going to get into the email bag. He was telling me there's like a whole cash app coochie picture type situation happening. Sounds a little confusing, but I promise you, I'm going to let you guys know what I found out. You know, I like to share. I like to share. So tonight's topic will be the devaluation of the vagina. <laughs> because I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I could not believe what I was hearing. It was... Uh, mm. But you know, I'll share. I will share. I'm skimming through. Um, I see there's lots and lots of emails in the email bag. If you guys want to email your questions in to get read live on the air, it's questions with an S at talkradio.com. You can also go into our website at www.tawkradio.com and the contact us form and put your information there. We'll get to where it needs to go. Um, also, if you want to get up with us tonight there's a little message bubble in the live stream it's a little yellow message bubble you click it you can go and talk in the chat room amongst yourselves i'm going to send you guys some hellos just now there might be some people in there active i know a lot of people were turned off from going in there because i think you've got to use your facebook credentials or something like i said as we're doing the relaunch we'll work on that stuff where you guys can come in anonymously and be whoever you like and say whatever you'd like i have some special shout outs to give when I come back on the other side of this. But I'm going to start this evening off by playing some music. I'm going to play two of our favorite artists, independent artists. Um, all of the independent artists are favorites. But there are certain songs that just get me really pumped up on a Friday evening. So, of course, you guys know, I don't fuck with you about, uh, sorry, Puncho Velocio. It's like my anthem now, isn't it? Um, but the most of the evenings are going to be on some reggae stuff because I'm kind of in a reggae vibe tonight. <laughs> so we're going to knock out all the, um, the rap and stuff from early. I'm going to put some music on. There's some people that are messaging me behind the scenes from out of the country trying to figure out how to get on. They're sitting in bars and pubs in Jamaica and things and showing me in Barbados and stuff like that. You guys are fucking amazing. Absolutely fucking amazing. I'm going to help them get on. I'm going to play some music for you guys to listen to. Come back. I'll give them some special shout outs on the air. We'll talk about some things. Like I said, tonight's topic is going to be the devaluation of the vagina. You know, we'll touch on that a little bit. We'll dig into the email bag and listen to some independent artist music and we'll have a good fucking time tonight. So check this out, you guys. It is Freaky Fridays on talkradio.com with your host is Cypher Kai. And this is Al Bakpacha by Poncho Velocio here on talkradio.com. If I ain't fucking with a nigga, I ain't fucking with That's just period. That's just me. Fuck a nigga, man. I ain't speaking to a nigga. For what? Walk straight past me. Shit, it's just getting get to the money. Gotta get that money up. Punto, I speak your mind. Fuck a nigga. Fuck it. Hey, if I ain't fucking with a nigga, I ain't fucking with a fucking this shit. I ain't fucking with none of you new nigga. If I still fuck nigga, I ain't speaking to him. Why? Shit, I ain't got to speak because I don't fuck with him. Shit, I've been in the trap getting my paper get right. Paper right. Shit, I've been in the back getting my sack right. right. Trying to put them tools up and get them Louis jeans. Louis I just got some ratchet shit who like the ball, like man. The ball, she man. the one that put me up on the new ball, man. Ball, she man. the drop the dunk off at the paint shop. Yeah. Shit, I can't wait till I go get that bitch out. Yeah. Shit, I'ma ride through the hood. Who they hating on? Hanging out 
out the window, let them know that I'm the boss. Why they hating on me? Why they so mad? Fuck. fuck. I got some hit in mind and I ain't fucking with them boys. But if they mad at a nigga, let them stay mad. If I ain't fucking with a nigga, I ain't fucking with them. Shit, I ain't fucking with none of you no niggas. Fuck with new niggas, that's brand new. Nigga, cause I don't fuck with you. You a salty nigga, you a salt shaker. You a pillar talker, you a fuck nigga. You be talking to them hoes, telling all your business. See, I don't fuck with you, I fuck with real niggas. So all my niggas gon' keep it real with me. See, all your niggas gon' keep it fake with you. All your niggas got skirts, them some bitch niggas. See, bitch niggas gon' do some bitch shit with you. See, all them niggas don't keep it real with you. But remember that bitch that you say don't fuck with? Boy, she fuck with him. I, I guess you. it was you. That was you the one was in your feelings. So now you mad at a nigga cause the fuck with him. Cause I don't fuck with a nigga. I don't fuck with him. It's a big bank. Take a little bank. You a little nigga. If I ain't fucking with a nigga, I ain't fucking with him. Shit, I ain't fucking with none of you new niggas. Fuck with new niggas. That's a brand new problem. I ain't fucking with two niggas. Man, fuck y'all. I don't fuck with a nigga. I ain't fucking with him. Man, I ain't fucking with none of you new niggas. Man, fucking with new niggas bring new problems. I ain't fucking with you niggas. Man, fuck y'all. If I ain't fucking with a nigga, I just ain't fucking with. You fuck niggas ain't real. Fuck niggas ain't real. My niggas is my niggas. You fuck niggas ain't real. Fuck niggas ain't real. Speak for what? Goodbye. Fuck niggas ain't real. Fuck niggas ain't real. Fuck TalkReady.com's Freaky Friday. Shout out to Puncho Velocio. I don't fuck with ya. I love that song. I swear to God, I love that song. <laughs> anyway, so you guys are asking about Rex and his mom. His mom is getting better, thankfully. He's also still not in the studio with us this evening, but his mom is getting better. So thank you guys for asking and inquiring and things like that. Um, if there's anybody that has my VIP access line to tell me how things are sounding, I know you guys have been a bit concerned that Rex is not here and you know I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in the studio. So, you know, I'm just saying. Let me know how the sound quality is coming in. If anybody has access to me behind the scenes and you're tuned in, let me know how things are sounding. I like to make sure everything comes through as clear as I possibly can. I'm hearing a little something in my ears, but I'm not sure what it is, and I don't know if you guys are picking it up as well. It might be where I am. Um, the central air is on, and it's kind of muggy and whatever, so I don't know what you guys are picking up and what you're hearing. Anyway, this is Freaky Fridays on TalkRadio.com. We're talking about the devaluation of the vagina tonight. That's going to be the topic. Um, I'm your host, is Cypher Kai. You guys say that, don't say it enough, but it's me, my darlings. It's me, my lovelies. I am here for you. You guys can come into the chat room and talk to me if you like. It is by going onto our website at www.tawkradio.com forward slash shows. There's a little yellow bubble in the um, live player. You guys can go on over there, click it. It'll take you into a place where you can come on over and talk to me. So feel free to do that. I always like to know that the fans are there. I know you guys are there. I can see the numbers. But I like to know that you guys are active and interacting. If you've not liked our Facebook page yet, please do so at facebook.com forward slash T-A-W-K radio. Hit us up, drop us a line, you know, put some activity over there. So we're going to dig into the email bag um, quickly. Actually, no, not going to do that yet. Not going to do that. Give you guys another song. I'm going to let you know what's going on here. I'm going to give some special shout outs. I want to shout out to the pastors that are tuned in tonight. And I won't say you guys' names. I won't do that to you. But we do have some Seven Day, Advest- sorry, seven day Adventist pastors and deacons that are tuned in this evening. They've told me they're, st- they're spending the Sabbath with us. I also know there's a couple of people that should be enjoying Passover festivities that are tuned in with us as well. Look, I don't knock it. You guys don't judge them. You know what I'm saying? They are as brilliant as you are for being tuned into talkradio.com's Freaky Fridays right now. So leave them alone. There's also a couple of, um, you know, sitting dignitaries um, that are <laughs> tuned into the show as well. So shout out to you. I also want to give a shout out to our archivers. Those are the people who aren't able to be on with us live right now, either because of the time difference and where they are and they're tuning in from or they're at work or doing something else but they do make it their business 
when they get the chance and the show is done and the archives are up to go in and listen to the archives and enjoy them and share them and take their time they can pause it and rewind it and it's a fantastic situation that happens I also want to give a shout out to this beautiful couple I want to call you guys my Bayonne babies you're my Bayonne babies who should be tuned in together in bed hopefully lightly naked not quite naked just kind of lightly dressed and hugged together enjoying the show right now and if you happen to be the archivist tuned in this evening as well. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the ride that's coming up. We've got some interesting emails, at least from what the subject line says. You guys know, so give, let me give a disclaimer again. If your babies are still up, it's 8 Rude, this is not for you. This is unscripted, uncensored, unfiltered, absolute fucking filth. <laughs> <laughs> absolute fucking filth that's what it is it's a grown-up platform explicit content when I send out the links I make sure to say that so that's not if you're expecting anything else you're going to be sadly disappointed or pissed off I can't tell which one if you want to advertise with us because you have you want to showcase your music you have a small business or something you want to promote we're always glad for you to do that hit us up at sales at TAWKradio.com. Please, though, I need you to listen to the content before you decide you're going to advertise with us because I don't give refunds. I just don't. Do your due diligence. We appreciate having you on, but we don't do refunds. So please have your staff or yourself check out the show. Um, we will be expanding the platform soon to Mondays through Fridays. The other days of the week will be a bit more substantive political topics and celebrity gossip and those kinds of things it won't be as vulgar and profane as a Friday so we can work out some options with you if you don't want your brand associated with the Friday night show and you want it Monday through Thursday we can work out something with you but please understand and know you will not as long as we provide what we say we're going to provide we don't give refunds just so you're aware we do have some cash app giveaways to do again the first one went off really well and successful Shout out to our first winner for that. So that was really great. Um, first time done ever where you can do a trivia competition on a radio show and get your money immediately. So that was really tremendous. We'll be doing that. We do have two big giveaways coming up before the end of the year. $2,000 giveaways we're going to do before the end of the year. When that's going to come up, I'll give you guys some more information on that. I promise you it won't be something hard, something very simple, but always pay attention to the shows when they're live and always pay attention to the archives. Anything that you're going to be quizzed on won't be random, crazy, hard to answer stuff because we want to give the money away. But we want to give the money away to loyal fans who tune in every week and know what's going on and they're aware of things and they remember things and they're enjoying the show. So anything that we're having any monetary giveaways for will be something directly connected to talkradio.com. Not necessarily the Friday evening, but something connected to the show. So there you go. All right, so the next song we're going to get into right now is from the sober junkie called Take Me Away. Another favorite here on talkradio.com. So we're going to knock out all this stuff. I'll come back. I'll jump into the email bag. And then at some point, when I can get some more people on, people are begging me, don't stop talking about anything yet. We're going to talk about the devaluation of the vagina as it pertains to some certain things that are going on in social media that I was unaware of. Maybe you guys knew. Is one of the fans who informed me and let me know. And, you know, it's just new and just different. And, you know, so just I just want to know what the hell's going on. I want to share it with you when I find out things. That's what we're doing here. It's all about information and fun here on Freaky Fighters on TalkRadio.com. This is the Sober Junkie. Take me away. Freaky Fridays. And me both been through similar things. And somehow I know you know I can feel your pain. But sometimes we get lost along the way. And every day might feel like rain. But luckily I know a way to a Friday day. Friday day comes every way. Comes every way. Nation 
know where to go. Didn't care if I was broke, didn't care if I was cold, getting high, trying to escape these love. You might see me and panic. I know you don't understand me, but we have way more in common. Cause we both got some problems. You and me both been through similar things. And somehow I know you know I can feel it. Sometimes we get lost along the way And every day might feel like rain But luckily I know a way to a Friday day Friday day, gonna take me away I've been down, I've been low I've been places nobody should go I've seen things no one should never see I've been to my lowest low But I had no place to go Now I'm on my knees, I'm begging Somehow I know you know I can feel your pain. I can feel your pain. Sometimes we get lost. And every day I'm feeling like rain. But luckily I know a way to find a day. Find a day. Talk Radio, Freaky Fridays with Cypher Kai. Alright, so let me, you guys know how much I fucking love you. So let me just fucking say that, right? There's going to be a lot of fucking tonight. Fucking in the studio with my, me saying the word fucking. Fucking outside. Fucking with the couple. There's going to be a lot of fucking going on. Let me just say that, right? So I like to give shout outs to people who send me directly and let me know that they're there. So shout out to Auntie Yvonne in Jamaica. Shout out to Darkie Fabulous, also in Jamaica. Let me give a repeated shout out. So I just found out some really super great information. Let me give a shout out to Zaddy and his queen. Now they didn't hear it the first time because I was just informed that they were in the shower getting clean so they can listen to the show and get dirty. I'm just saying. So shout out to Zaddy and his queen who are tuned in now, who are nice and fresh and clean and hopefully going to get very sticky and dirty as they listen to our Freaky Fridays tonight. So the topic for the evening is going to be the devaluation of the vagina. Promise you guys I'm going to get into that conversation in a few seconds. We're going to dig into the email bag now. There's some emails I pulled up to read. And after I get into some of those and play some more music, um, we will touch on this devaluation of the vagina. Based on a conversation I had with the topical consultant, I also want to give a special, 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 gigantic shout out to the wellness consultant who is on vacation in another country right now and hitting me up to let me know that she's fucking tuned into the show because she's so freaking awesome and so goddamn dedicated and she deserves this vacation and i hope you found yourself a nice big dick guy on the beach that you're enjoying this show with right now and you're drinking something super strong because lent is over you know and not to say you should throw away all your lenten ways i'm just saying i know specifically my lady you work very hard shout out to my wellness consultant who's laying on a beach right now tuned in to talk radio in another country damn it um i also want to give a shout out i was checking out the stats for the week and we got some new people to new countries uh, that are tuning in. So I want to shout out to all the listeners from Aruba, Holland, Japan, India. We had um, Botswana, Egypt, Iraq, um, Canada, Puerto Rico. A couple. Oh, it was amazing. It's amazing. Every time the interns bring me all the behind the scenes information, it, it blows me away every time. The numbers are increasing in Jamaica as well. And you guys are just doing amazing things in sharing the show. And, you know, I've got some friends around me, really want to call them associates, who didn't understand what it was I was doing. They said, you know, you're sitting here and you're just cursing and talking about sucking dick and licking things and whatever. And guess what? As much as you'd like to kiss your mom on the face and pay her bills and think that, you know, mommy used to suck dick at some point too. 
You mm-hmm. might have had a couple brothers and sisters that mommy swallowed back in the days because it was very, you know, hard to get an abortion. You know, if you're in your 40s and stuff, abortions back in the days was a hard thing to fuck. What? What? It was expensive. You couldn't get it done. People did all kinds of crazy things. They were drinking hot Guinness and putting freaking, uh, um, you know, hangers up there and all kinds of shit. So don't believe that at any point where you're kissing your mom just because she's 70 something right now, she didn't suck and swallow and gag things too. Sex is universal. Sex is necessary. So don't make fun of me for me sitting on the air and telling people I suck things and look things and what needs to be done and what ass spankings need to happen and whatever. It's something that needs to happen. Damn it. It needs to happen. And it was happening before. (laughs) <laughs> I'm just capitalizing on it and I'm getting so many lovely things behind the scenes I don't know I can't look at you guys right now I see it pinging in my phone but give me a second I'll give you a proper shout outs and stuff all right damn I don't know what's happening oh let me give a shout what so listen I can't be held responsible for this I just got a text that came on my watch that's why I saw it I got some Lyft and Uber drivers that are tuned into talk radio right now. Now, let me just say, I don't know what your fan, your, your clients are going to think about the content of this show. <laughs> but let me say, let me just say that being an Uber driver in New York is going to be a hard, horrible fucking job. Traffic is unbelievable. The city itself is amazing. Absolutely love living here. But you guys, please be careful. Please be careful driving tonight. You can't be laughing and driving, nor closing your eyes and driving. But I pull over. Pull over and take in a few minutes, and whatever you might miss, there's an archive that will be available. So you guys will be fine. Just, you know, just, just kind of be easy, be easy. Let's get into this email bag, people. Okay, so the headline says, should I go on a date with this girl because of her history? All right. I'm talking, I'm talking to her on a dating site, and we're supposed to meet on Saturday. But we are friends on Facebook now, and I'm seeing all these posts, and I think she has a, she's having a mental breakdown. She told me she has a long history of mental illness. I don't think she's mentally stable enough to go on a date on Saturday. Hmm. Now, you guys, I don't know how many of you know what my stance is on, you know, online dating. It just seems so impersonal. I understand it allows you to meet people from across the world and stuff like that. But there's so many things that's changed since I was dating. Now, of course, I've put my pussy in stasis for like a a decade and change. So I'm a unique situation. But I'm simply saying... You know, if she's got mental things going on, yeah, she's probably not even ready to date. And I'm not saying to shy away from that, but if you can... See, first of all, how much are you digging on her Facebook page anyway? Right? And why are you guys Facebook friends before... Okay, I'm sorry. Let me wind back a few things. You met on a dating site, and then she added you on as a friend on Facebook, which I think was foolish to begin with. I would have met you first before I decided to invite you into what it is I share amongst my friends. Because you're not quite a friend yet. You're just a person that could be catfishing me on a dating site so i wouldn't have automatically invited you into that circle to see what the hell i'm doing you can connect with people on messenger without making them your facebook friends so let's just start there how much are you digging what you're looking into now great though that you did find that she's got mental things happening because you probably would not have wanted to find that out on a date where you went to make another move after her making you spend how much how much money and some guys feeling like all of a sudden you're entitled to pussy because you spend a certain amount of money buying food and then for her to call rape afterwards or something or whatever but if she if you don't believe she's mentally stable enough to go on a date you should probably cancel it and you should probably unfriend her unfriend yourself from her page as well no need to be stalking and preying on her page if you don't think she's worthy of dating and just kind of being nosy and creepy in it all right so that's kind of my take on that should you go on a date with her no no you should not and she should not be dating anyone else either if she's got mental things to sort out or baggage from an old relationship or whatever's going on she should not be dating anyone my stance on that all right what's the next one okay um ooh, that's a little long i'll do that when i come back ah. okay how many times should i have sex with my girlfriend in one month <laughs> my question is how many times should i have sex with my girlfriend in one month it's really the same title and look it I don't think there's this particular number you put on it is you know I don't know how old you are you didn't mention but I'm thinking you know as long as your dick can get erect and she'll allow it I mean you just fucking do it isn't it sex is healthy for the most part you got all the pheromones going and all the, the adrenaline and all those great hormones floating around and stuff I mean fuck as much as you can because at some point you won't be able to coochie dries up at some point and you know you get erectile dysfunctions and things like that and just the fact that you had to ask me that that way i'm thinking you're young now i won't chastise you completely because i know i do have a 
bunch of um, college kids that tune in. So I'll allow you with that. But you fuck as much as you're allowed, right? As much as your body can take, as much as your willing participating partner will allow. Okay, this is kind of my answer to that one. And have I hit my three? No, I have not hit my three. Um, I'm going to have to do three before I do another song. What is a priority? Um, and how does it work? Really? So we, are we looking for the Webster's Dictionary version of that? Or <laughs> priority in a relationship? Priority means something that you, you have a, a preference to do. Something that you have to do. Right? And how does it work? That's something for you to discuss amongst your partner. Like you have to decide, you know, what's important to you. And again, we're going to have that conversation soon. Because I think people definitely in relationships need to sit down and lay down certain rules. And that was brought up to me by one of my topical consultants. We're actually going to, I'm going to tell you guys ahead of time. I like to do this. Next week's topic is going to be the expectations in a relationship. And I want to give you guys a week to really roll that around in your head, have discussions amongst yourselves, because I know for a fact there are lots of couples that are tuned in together. So we're going to start an argument from now right? let's start an argument from now that's a catchphrase for the show you guys know it let's start an argument from now next week's topic is going to be expectations in a relationship and i want you guys to start thinking about that when i did a show a couple weeks ago about learning to be stingy with your dick i was telling guys there should be certain requirements they have in order to you know sleep with women because we are just as horny as they are you know we like to fuck as much as they do you know what i mean and there should be certain things that are put in place i want you guys to start rolling that around your head tonight having this conversation after the show is done and in between breaks but what's expected is something that grown-ups should be talking about you know what i'm saying so that's something that's definitely going to be coming up very soon in discussions here on talkradio.com's Freaky Fridays. So I've got my three question quota. So I'm going to put on some music and then we're going to come back on the other side and start talking about the devaluation of the vagina. And then we'll get into some more emails and all those yummy things. And if I have to give any more shout outs on the air, I surely will. Because I know my phone is blowing up and I haven't been able to touch it yet. I'm trying to see how I want to ease you guys into um, certain things. There's some really ragamuffin, throw a bitch around type songs in here that I think some of you will enjoy. Um, some of you might be unaware of how the reggae thing goes. So I won't freak you out too quickly. <laughs> I won't do that. Let me put on one more. Um, let me just make it even. Let me put on one more um, American song before I jump into all of the reggae music for the evening. This one is called um, Bow Down by Rain here on Freaky Fridays on talkradio.com.
TalkReady.com's Freaky Fridays. Oh my God, so <laughs> that song finished too quickly. I'm literally trying to go through all the messages coming into my phone. Let me just take a moment to say how much I love my fans. I love my friends who are tuned in. I love the couples who are tuned in. Um, again, shout out to my Bayonne babies. Shout out to Zaddy and the Queen. Shout out to my dignitaries who are tuned in. Um, I will be discreet and I won't say who you are, but I got dignitaries and pastors and deacons tuned in. I have um, people who are supposed to be, you know, um, celebrating Passover tuned into all the naughty that's happening here on Freaky Fridays with Cypher Kai. So I appreciate you guys. Like I said, sex is international and necessary. Damn it. It is. <laughs> it just really, really is. All right. So one more song. Go through some um, text messages, get back in this email bag, and then we're going to talk about the devaluation of the vagina. Promise you we're going to get onto that for a few minutes here on the show. Didn't get to do much research on it. It was something that was spoken to me right before I got on the air, and I just found it absolutely fascinating and horribly disgusting and of course it's disgusting not disgusting just disappointing that's the wrong day disappointing um when i heard what was going on um right now on social media as far as women are concerned and what their requests are these you mm. men let me take a moment and just say i love men i've said this before guys are so fucking amazing dumb as the day is long most of the time but men are so yummy and so fucking amazing and so underrated and the shit you guys are having to put up with now in the dating scene with these tricky ass lazy ass conniving ass worthless ass women and not all of them just some of them right i feel so sorry for you but don't worry Cypher's here. I'm going to be giving out lessons soon enough. That's why I tell you guys to get your papers and pens out. I'm going to teach these women how to honor you kings. Those of you who are acting like kings, there's some kings out here and your crown is tilted. It's like you forgot your majesty. But don't worry, it's coming. In the weeks to come, we're going to talk about all that stuff, the empowerment of black couples and couples in general and men. My men. I need you guys to be, oh, I'm going to breathe some life on you. I swear to God I am. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to start a movement. But anyway, this one is Cry by Brock up here on Freaky Fridays on talkradio.com. Stay tuned. Talkradio.com Freaky Friday. Anyway, you see me, you think me, girl. Take the touch. Me, I'm a blood. Oh, 
it up. Me know you like the thing rough. Come at me, come at me, wind up in your love. But then just up to the floor, me a give you love. Who am I? Who am I? Boy, if you know me, no. You know the beat, me a wind in a wiggle, no. Cry for your body, make me see your boss a wind. Tell me say you love me, cause that's something they a wind. Love you all night, no man, I'm in a sun and shine. That's why I can't stop, so it's like I'm a thing, no. Cry for your body, make me see your boss a wind. Tell me say you love me, cause that's something they a wind. Love you all night, no man, I'm in a sun and shine. That's why I can't stop, so it's like I'm a thing, no. I cry for your body, make me see your boss a wind. TalkRadio.com's Freaky Friday with your host, Decipher Kai, Brook Up Cry. I love that song. That is so fucking dope. What? That is so dope. Anyway, so we're going to talk about the devaluation of the vagina for a few minutes. <laughs> I want to dig into this topic more on another day when I do some more research on this. But I want to tell you guys what I found out. Maybe it might not shock you or, you know, whatever, but you guys, okay, so those of you who are just tuning in are not familiar with the platform. I've been single and celibate for a decade and a half and some change, some sprinkling, some nickels and pennies and change, about 16 years now. And so the dating scene has gotten much different. There's iPhones and social medias and webcams and things that were not in place the last time I, I, I wasted coochie on someone's son, right? But at the same time, there's certain things that are just should be core values. And don't get me wrong, I say, if you say value, how can you say values and curse so much? I curse like a fucking sailor. But there's certain things I think are just you know, it should be universal things, right? When you're dating, I want to look at someone across the table. I want to touch their hand lightly. I want to look into their eyes. I want to see if they're lying to me, all that kind of stuff, right? So here's what I found out. My topical consultant told me, oh my God, right? There's like a cash app coochie thing happening. Let me explain this. So he tells me there's a thing going on now where, um, you know, you can, there are women that are wanting you to do things for them or buy things for them before they even talk to you, right? Now, my friend, by his own words, his own description, he's not the most overtly handsome guy, but he's a nice guy. He's a hardworking guy. You know, he likes to have sex and be very, um, you know, interactive with his partners. He likes to give massages and he is well spoken, very well read, you know, things like that. And, you know, they, I guess they look at his profile picture, figure, oh, he's a fucking pushover. <laughs> and I'm going to get this herb to buy me something. But it's not ex mutually exclusive to him. So they'll send the picture up and, you know, a chick will get up and she'll post a, like a half naked picture. And she'll say, hey, you know, I'm hungry. You know, who wants to cash at me um, some money to buy breakfast or something? And then we can have a conversation. Like, really? And they told me, oh, they'll put up a picture of shoes or something and say, you know, um, who likes me enough to get me these shoes? You know, after putting up these half naked pictures. So again, isn't this kind of like the epitome of catfishing? And then I remember some of my Uber driver friends, and I'm sure the ones who are tuned in now will punch in and let me know. Because I have a lot of friends that do service industry stuff. So they're private drivers or they do Uber or limo, um, Lyft and limo services. And I've heard them tell me that there's like a whole movement of women now that will go into like Tinder or whatever. And I hate shouting out of the company stuff. There's not sponsors with me, but whatever, right? They'll go into these dating apps and they'll find who they believe to be the nerdiest guys or the most, the guys with the biggest pushovers and they'll have them buy them dinner. And before the guy gets to finish paying, they'll run out, go into the fucking Uber. This guy can't get a hug. He can't walk into the car. There's no good night kiss. There's no nothing, right? And, I'm, and they'll take home food for their fucking roommates or for the next day. And this is something they're just doing. Like, they have no interest in these guys whatsoever. Now, you're entitled not to have interest in someone. And, of course, no one's expecting you to give up pussy for a fucking meal. But, my God, if the sole purpose you're going out is to eat, what is your finances looking like? That's why I tell you guys, we're going to be doing Freaky Financial Friday soon. And when we get this financial consultant in here to talk to you guys about some shit, we're going to change the whole goddamn game up. Because if in your budget, when you're allocating money for grocery and your coochie and or your time is in exchange for your grocery, you're not budgeting something properly. You're not be you're not living your grown you're not living your best life right now. I'm just saying. I don't understand. I quite remember and you guys are going to think I'm a bit of a fucking nerd because I keep telling you guys I'm not a one-trick pony, right? I remember, and you guys go and look this up, right? So, you know, um, Cleopatra, 
Right? Everybody knows the story of Cleopatra. And no, it was not fucking Elizabeth Taylor and her white ass over there in all that heat. Yeah? But Cleopatra was 14 years old. 14. No one pays, pays attention to those little nuances and details about that. She was 14 years old. She had two men. It was Anthony and I forgot who the other one was at the moment. I should have did some more research on this. But anyway, roll with me. Google it. Look it up. Somebody give me the answer. But anyway, she had these two guys that wanted to sleep with her. Now remember the lifespan back days wasn't very back then wasn't very long. But just on the promise, damn it, on the promise of her pussy, these guys went across the world slaying things, killing things, conquering things. That's when it had value, when people were willing to slaughter things for the promise of some coochie. What the fuck has happened over the course of these centuries and decades that now your vagina is worth a plate of fucking food, a bodega sandwich, a fucking pair of shoes? At what point did this start to happen? This is the devaluation I'm talking about. Listen, I, I don't know about everybody else, but I can say this. Grown-ass women... And I know I'm going to have my grown ladies hit me up, goddammit. Grown-ass women know the value of their crotch. They know it, right? I can tell you I've been sitting on my pussy for 16 years, and I can assure you my stock price has gone up. I can assure you my fucking stock price has gone up. This shit is like if you had bought into fucking IBM back in the days. You know what I'm saying? And before you guys start your shit, but oh, IBM doesn't exist anymore. You know what the fuck I'm saying, okay? You know what the fuck I'm saying, right? My stock value has gone up because... It was good when I put it down, but it's kind of like sitting there aging like a fine wine you find in a fucking attic after years at an antique show or some shit, you know what I'm saying? And you know if you drink the wine, it's not any good for you. You overdose on the shit, you get sick because you can't drink all that potent shit all in one place, but it's expensive as fuck. Somebody's going to pay a million dollars for this fucking five dollar bottle of wine because its value has gone up because they know what it is. They know good shit when they see it. And so I'm just saying to you, at what point, somebody tell me, please help me. When did it go from people slaughtering, even in biblical days, it was just so different, right? So what has happened since I've been out the game that women have lost their minds and forgotten the value of what they have? And guys, I say the same thing to you. You guys are worth so much more than having these tricky bitches have you bait them out to buy them dinner to fuck. If that's what it is, say what it is. Again, grown women will do that. If Listen, let me give some, some advice again because I've given this advice on the show before and I, I need you guys to really pay attention. This is for the men. This is for the men. Get your papers and pens. This is for the men. Men, I need you guys to stop taking fucking advice from married guys giving you single guys relationship advice. I'll let that sink in for a minute. I'll let you write it down. I'll say it again. Single guys, I need you guys to stop taking advice from like Steve Harvey, who's been married how many times? I'm glad he's happy now, right? Been married how many times he's married? Giving you stupid ass rules like, you know, if you meet a lady, you want to wait three days to call her. Let me fucking say something. Again, as a grown ass woman, if I meet a guy outside who gets my attention, he says something witty or whatever. seven in this day and time we're living in 2019 people keep their phones connected to them like a lifeline so you had the phone you chose to wait three days to call me you weren't that interested and so i want you to know i didn't give you a fake number i'm not avoiding you i'm letting you know that you weren't as interested in me as i require you to be to move forward with this so let me say that stop taking advice from married guys who are telling you guys nonsense grown-ups everything is discussed Everything can be worked out with a conversation. If I want to fuck you on the first date as a grown-up, I'm going to fuck you on the first date. It's not going to diminish what you think of me. And if it does, then you just want it to fuck. It doesn't change my personality. It doesn't change my ambition. All it means is that I am grown enough to accept and understand that if my coochie's jumping under the table while we're having dinner, I'm going to let you know that. If you will allow me to jump on you and we have a good time, so be it. If we can do it again, so be it. But if me fucking you the first type night makes you think less of me, then all you wanted to do was to fuck anyway. And I'm fine with that. That's okay. But this nonsense of, oh, I'm going to keep... Look, it, you can. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm saying, women who are 
you know, sexually confident should not be made to be ashamed of being forward and going after what they want. Simply saying. I'm just simply saying. This is TalkRadio.com. It's Freaky Friday if you just tuned in. And we're going to jump into some more music. Talking about the devaluation of the vagina from Cleopatra days of slaying things on the promise of coochie to girls offering up coochie for bodega sandwiches. What's happening? People talk to me. Anyway, we're going to get into some more music here. Bad Priority, Chapter 9 on Freaky Fridays here on TalkRadio.com. Comes freaky Friday. Yeah, I'm going to have to play that song again because what? I'm back here jamming out right now. Ah, oh, you guys are making me love my job so much. I love it anyway. But the fact that you guys are like interacting with me behind the scenes and just sharing this around and you guys are sending me pictures of who's tuned in and whatever. Let me give a special shout out to Udenic Media that's tuned in. They let me know they're tuned in. You guys are hear me shout them out a lot. They're absolutely fucking amazing. I'll be doing some work with them soon. I also want to give a shout out to Rob that's tuned in. My Bayonne babies that are tuned in. Your your the Bayonne baby's junior son. So shout out to Rob who's tuned in. Who his words were the show is fucking real. <laughs> that's what I think that's what the, the phrase was. So shout out to Rob who's tuned in. I hope he's over eighteen. Jesus. Um. Anyway, you guys should be over eighteen and sexually active to tune into the show. Um. I would require that. And let me also give my disclaimer. If there's anyone that shares my DNA that is tuned into the show right now I need you to get the fuck off and I say that because I've got three kids that are pretty grown but they know they are forbidden from listening to talk radio any day of the week especially my freaky Fridays also want to give a shout out to my oldest baby she turned 24 a couple of days ago so I've got big kids I don't want you guys thinking that you know I'm doing something crazy but my kids know at some, how they were not hatched from eggs my kids are quite brilliant they know they didn't come from eggs so mommy did something dirty sucked something licked something sat on something and a baby came that's, that's kind of how that works they, they were told that from very young 
<laughs> so they know what the situation is and what the hustle is. This is Freaky Fridays here on TalkRadio.com. We were talking about the devaluation of the vagina. How we're going to now just, you know, just doing all kinds of slack things in order to get a meal or to get things. It's like ambition has gone down the toilet. No one's inspired to do anything. They're not aspiring to do anything besides get things and mimic what's on reality shows. It's not actual reality. Those girls don't look like that. There's contouring of the nose and weave pieces and all kinds of things. Is that what you're striving for? So I was trying to get my friend that told me about the story to send me some screenshots of what these thirsty ass bitches were requesting, but he might be caught up doing something else. I don't think he got a chance to do that yet. Uh, I'll check my phone in a little while, see what's going on. And um, let me give a shout out, a special shout out to Anthony, the Lyft driver. I was trying not to say your name, but he gave me permission to say it. Hopefully this 10 million Anthony Uber drivers and Lyft drivers, so you guys don't um, correlate the two, but he told me to say his name. So I'm shouting out Anthony, the Lyft driver, who is tuned into the show right now and loving it about all the crazy speech that's happening tonight. And shout out to all the independent artists who were nice enough to send their music in to have us play it this evening. Shout out to all the dignitaries also who are tuned in and the pastors and all the fans and stuff that are tuned in appreciate you let's jump back into this email bag and let's see this one said I cheated on my husband what should I do Ooh, let's start an argument all right I had to arrange a tutor for my daughter who's in the 11th grade he comes over daily to teach my sweet daughter because I'm very busy because of my office schedule one day my daughter had to go to her friend so she told me mommy please inform the man that he doesn't have to come today. She left the home and just as I was on my way home from the office, I had to attend a party in the evening and totally in a hurry, I forgot to inform him. Seriously, I just started changing in my bedroom, totally nude, polished my nails, he opened the door and my God, and totally naked in front of him. I just covered myself up with a bed sheet, but we indulged, hmm, wait now, I wanna read it properly. We indulged, oh, and he fucked me in the bedroom, mm-hmm. I can't believe it just a mistake he'd take advantage of. It was pleasurable. He gave me the uh, orgasm three times. The next day, my hubby and daughter went to the park, and again he came by and had sex that evening. Now he never misses a chance to come over. I know it was my fault. He's handsome and very good in bed. I can't stop cheating on my hubby now. I think I'm addicted to him. Fear is killing me. What will happen if my hubby found out I love my husband so much at the same time I feel terribly attracted to him? Please suggest what I should do. Should I stop or continue? Ooh! Yes, Lord. God, I love my job. So, okay. I'm going to start an argument now, in general, and I'm not going to start an argument among some of the people that are tuned in. I know I have married couple tuned in right now who's about to fucking lose it. Look it. Um, okay. Okay, so you hired a tutor for your daughter, your sweet daughter, according to you. Thank God he fucked you and not the kid. So let's start there, right? You forgot. You, you made a comment about how handsome he was. Your daughter told you early enough in the day to tell him not to come over. And then all of a sudden, you're naked, probably legs spread, painting your fucking toes. Like, I don't know who paints their toenails naked anyway, but again, I'm a tomboy, I don't really paint my toenails, so somebody let me know if that's a thing that happens. You take a shower, you come out and paint your toenails naked before you go to an event. I don't know, whatever, yeah? So you do all of this, and for some reason he walks into your room, if he's tutoring your daughter, he's got no reason to be coming into your room, bitch. So let's stop playing games right now. Let's tear this whole thing apart. Let me inspect a gadget your ass right fucking now, right? He comes over the two to your daughter, I'm assuming you're paying him. He's got absolutely no reason to be in your bedroom. If he comes in and can't find your daughter, first of all, someone's supposed to let him in. The fact he just walked into the house means that you were expected him, bitch. Let's stop playing. So you know your husband's not there, your daughter's not there, and what did you do? Leave the door unlocked. Thank God it was him that you wanted to fuck and not somebody else who came to take advantage. Then you're sitting in your room naked, getting ready for a corporate event, polishing your toenails naked with your pussy out the door, right? If you believe what you wrote, <laughs> okay? So then, and on top of all of that disrespect, with your unlocked doors, because he came up and you just say, oh, wait a minute. I'm naked, let me put something on and kick you out and walk you out and lock my door. So the door is still open while you guys are upstairs fucking in the bed you share with your husband. Mm? Now you're addicted, but you're fearful. 
of getting caught. Bitch, you should be fearful of getting killed. See, you know there's levels to cheating. And we'll discuss that one evening. But that's some dangerous shit. This is not just, okay, I'm fucking cheating. This is, okay, I'm wasting pussy on a stranger who I'm about to get killed. Because your husband would have all rights. And I don't encourage this by any means. But I know my head is not screwed on properly. I know that. Probably why I've been single so long. I know my head is not screwed on properly. If I walk into my home, not outside of the car, or a fucking hotel or something, I don't believe in checking up, right? I don't check through phones and wallets and pockets and stuff. Whatever I'm supposed to know will come to me. But if I walk into my home at the end of the day and my man has got somebody bouncing around on my car, because it's not his. At the time you give me a title, it's no longer his dick. I come in and some bitch is bouncing around on my man's dick in the bed that he fucks me in. I'm cutting both of them. And I'm justified to do it. Damn it, I'm justified to fucking do it. Now you guys don't do this shit. I'm not encouraging it. I'm just saying, start an argument right now. That's where my head goes. So for you to tell me all this shit and then ask me what to do. Really? Really? Okay, so let me give you some advice in case you actually wanted it. I don't think you do, but let's just in case. I'm going to need you to... Uh, Go and have several seats. I need you to go take a ride down to Home Depot and find and buy some quick drying cement. I need you to go and fill up your vagina with it and just seal it up. You don't deserve to use it anymore <laughs> because you can't go back and fuck your husband with that coochie you wasted on some stranger in his bed. You can't continue to fuck the fucking Tudor. You just need to put some quick drying cement in it, close your fucking legs and just seal it up. Just seal it up. <laughs> just, just seal it up. That's my advice. Anyway, this is Freaky Fighters on TalkRadio.com. If you just tuned in, you don't know what the hell you're listening to. This is Cypher Kai on Freaky Fighters on TalkRadio.com. Feel free to come on over to the chat room and chit-chat with me if you dare. Um, I will do that. Next question. Am I a control freak? Isn't using the word independence an excuse? Hmm. In a loving, committed relationship, my girlfriend met this guy only for a week at work, and the guy finished his contract and left the company that week. He asked her out for a beer, only the two of them, as it was his last day at work. Girlfriend said, okay, I was not in town. Two weeks later, it's her birthday, and the guy asked her out again to give her a birthday gift. She said that... She she said that he's been texting her every day. When I tell her I'm not comfortable, she says he's only a colleague. Well, right, only seven days in the company. Oh, right, he's only there seven days in the company. I'm an independent woman, and you can't control who I see. You should trust me. If he has other intentions, I will stop seeing him. The question is, I have never told her to stop seeing anyone of her other male friends before. What the F is she thinking the intention is? Okay, you know what, guy? I'm, i got to say I'm with you. i got to say I'm with you. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. These tricky bitches. Are you serious? He's not a fucking colleague if he had a contract for seven days. Right? And I'm kind of wondering, when he was leaving the company for seven fucking days, he invited her out for a beer. Okay, you let that slide. You weren't there. Why the fuck is he texting her every day? And if she was so clean in what she was doing, why did she do it when you were out of town? Yeah? And then she hits you with the grown woman shit? Really, bitch? Come on. I'm as independent as they come, but there's certain rules and respect lines, right? You going out with this guy is disrespectful. And if, you, if you're if you not sure, if you're ever on the bridge, let me give you guys a, a litmus test. If you do something and put yourself in your man's position, say, hey, if one of his exes that he was pining for in high school or something, and I understand it's not the same situation for you guys, start your shit. I'm simply saying, would you be okay with your man going out with some colleague of his from work. Fuck it. Forget the going out. Would you be comfortable with some bitch from his job texting him every fucking day? Let's just start right there. Let's start right there. Tell me who's listening, who's okay with your man going to work to provide for you. You feel secure. You've been to the office parties and stuff. You kind of know and sussed out everybody. But some newbie comes in the mix and now she's texting your man every day. And going out with him privately. Are you okay with that? That's how you gauge it. If you can't figure it out on your own. And you can't get your question read on the air. Figure it out that way. That's your litmus test. If something that you're doing. Is okay with you for your man to do it too. Then go ahead and do it. But if you think. Oh no fuck that he can't do that. Because I don't trust him. He's cheated before. But it doesn't matter. If you are doing something. That you're not okay with your man doing. Then bitch don't do it. Simple as. <laughs> This is TalkRadio.com's Freaky Fridays. Let's dig into some more music. We'll come back and get into some more emails in a second. Because that's how we're doing it here. 
stool. Do I want to give you guys that? Let me see. Let me give you something easy for now. Let me give you something easy. <laughs> Let me give you something a little easier for now. Let me be nice to you. I'll, I'll say the really raunchy shit for the last song before we get off. Anyway, Freaky Fighters here on Talker.com. This again is by Chapter 9, Focus Like a Telescope. Last year was a rough one. Struggles and trial. Reach out to enough people. Them no answer the phone when me dial. Right now, me prepare and me ready for the world like a champion in action. Straight positivity, no negativity, no destruction. Me focus like telescope. Red light can't stop me. Support and no support. Me ready for bus like at me. Only me can't stop myself. 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 Jagga you every step when me take And him clear with the part when me walk Strength to persevere with the time in the rear Give me light in the dark To them nothing if you a while Every body pass judgment say me a sky lock But me did a buckle up me belt And I prepare myself So me ready for the task Me focus like telescope Red light can't stop me Support and no support Me ready for bus like at me Only me can't stop myself 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 <laughs> Think I like a sleepless night Me the ask you your advice No me start reap that's nice Them want to leech Jesus Christ Now I'm gonna make bad energy get me down Can't come friend me if you come take off my crown Me focus like telescope Red light can't stop me Support and no support Me ready for bus like at me Only me can't stop myself 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 Last year was a rough one Struggles and trial Reach out to no people Them no answer the phone when they dial Right now me prepare and me ready for the world Like a champion in action Real positivity, no negativity, no destruction. Me focus like telescope, red light can't stop me. Support and no support, me ready for bus like at me. Only me can't stop myself, only me can't stop myself. Only me can't stop myself, only me can't stop myself. Me focus like telescope, red light can't stop me. Support and no support, me ready for bus only me can't stop myself. 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 Me focus like telescope. Red light can't stop me. Support and no support. Me ready for bus like at me. Only me can't stop myself. 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 Talkery.com's Freaky Fridays with your hostess Cypher Kai. Ah, uh, so somebody was asking, is she using her pussy to pay the tutor? Um, I would hope that wasn't the arrangement in the beginning. <laughs> but apparently maybe she thought she can get a child into Harvard or something. There was some um woman that caught got caught up the other day. They were paying um I'm going to say over here in the U.S. because we've got people tuned in from all over the world. Got caught up in some scandals, you know, paying people to alter their kids' SAT exams and um, getting them into certain schools and, and lying about their physical powers for teams and all kinds of things. So the things that parents are willing to do for their kids. And I kind of figure, what's the child going to learn from that, right? And a lot of the kids, they claim, didn't know what was going on. Imagine the embarrassment afterwards. When you get to hear, you know, what's going on and, and it's, it's just insane, you know. So I hope, I, I guess she is using her cooch to pay for the tutor. <laughs> I, I hope he's doing a lot of tutoring because her husband's more than likely going to put her out of the house if he doesn't chop her up into pieces. Um, and he's going to need to have to put her someplace. I don't know. She, that is some dangerous shit. Let me just say straight across the board, do not... You shouldn't cheat anyway. Once you got a title, and yeah, that sounds really fucking corny and cliched, but I'm saying, if you're in a situation on understanding, where it's understood that I enjoy your dick, I like sucking your dick, I like riding your dick, I like doing things to your dick, you know what I'm saying? And we understand this. So 
So we have an understanding, but it's not exclusive. Let me tell you, it's not an exclusive understanding. If it's understanding, then it is exclusive. Whatever, it's conversations, yeah? But once we decide that this dick bouncing, dick licking thing is working out for us, and there's a title there, and, a, and you know, an understanding has now, you know, evolved to a relationship and a title, the cheating should stop. But on the off chance you're not wise enough to stop doing it, don't do it in your fucking house. It's not even about the don't get caught and this and that. Don't do it. But if you do, don't do it in your fucking house, like what? Who does that? Who does that? And I heard a story this week. Let me just say, let me shout out. <laughs> and this, this is a disrespectful shout out, right? I was talking to a friend of mine this week, and I heard. I was so disappointed that there. When he, I mean, he's a, he's pretty much a what's the word I want to call him. It's a word I usually call him. Um, he's a whore. <laughs> I think of another word for it at the moment. Um, but yeah, he's asleep around a lot of people, right? And he told me there were women who would allow him to come over and fuck with their babies in the bed next to them. I'm talking about baby babies, like little tiny, still sleeping, pacifying the mouth babies. And when the kids would, he'd, he'd be uncomfortable. Obviously not uncomfortable not to stop, but he'd be uncomfortable. And when the you know the baby would fidget or turn over or something because he's got this bitch like screaming her fucking mind out, um, she'd be like, "Oh, don't worry about it." And I just kept thinking to myself, "What a fucking skettle ass bitch! Like, who does that? Who is fucking in the bed next to their newborn?" Damn it, that's what blankets are for. You can fucking get a blanket and 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 fold it up and put it on the floor in the room and let the baby sleep. Are you really bouncing the bed? You know, are you are you really bouncing the bed? And 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 really, are you, are you bouncing the bed? <laughs> really, <laughs> with the baby on it? And when the baby's getting up to fret, it's like, oh, don't worry about it. Ignoring the child because you didn't get your orgasm yet. Really, bitch. Really, come on, come on. You know, come on. So I'm just saying, I was something I had to I had to mention because it. Yeah, it Again, I understand when you have kids, because I've got three, right? I understand you get horny and all that other stuff, and you know your nature's riding you. And sometimes before it's even the si before the six weeks is even up, you know, <laughs> people are sending me, ooh, ooh, oh, wow. So, so these people have some information back behind this. Black China got caught lying about Harvard admission. Really? Didn't know about that. Thank you. See, my fans are so awesome. You guys are always updating me with stuff. I'm just saying. So I was saying just now, you know, you get horny after you have the kids and they tell you to wait six weeks before you have sex and all that other stuff. Um, i got to tell you, one or two times after I had babies, I didn't wait the six weeks. I ended up regretting it. <laughs> you know, it's there's a reason why they tell you that. You know, you push around some things and they end up in places they shouldn't be. Like your uterus ends up in your fucking throat. It feels like it, all kinds of shit. I'm just simply saying, I'm just simply saying, but I'm, I'm, I'm Focus back on the ladies, please. I understand the horny. I understand you wanting some. If you can't find the babysitter, just put the baby somewhere else in the room. And if the kid's a toddler, that's just me. I don't know. But just put the baby, the baby, little babies that's crying and pacifiers and stuff. Don't put them on the bed bouncing while you're getting fucked. Let's try not to do that. <laughs> let's just try not to do any of that. Okay. So let's get back into this email bag. This is Freaky Fridays here on TalkRadio.com. Someone says they need help, please. Okay, if you see my previous questions about a girl I met on Instagram, so the update is that she has deactivated her ID. I've also mentioned her friend in my previous question. So is it a good idea if I ask her friend about her or her, for her phone number? If yes, then what's the proper way to ask? P.S. I really like that girl. Okay, <clears throat> let me just start by saying I literally get hundreds of emails a week. So if you sent me other ones, I probably didn't see it because I pulled these at random. But based on what you're telling me here, if you met somebody on Instagram and she deactivated her account, she does not want to be found. I don't know if she doesn't want to be found by you or anybody else because she didn't say she blocked you. She said she deactivated the account. So if you're friends with her friend or made friends with her friends to find her, I'm going to need you to not do that. <laughs> right? She doesn't want to be found right now for whatever reason. You really liking her is not a good enough reason to go and disturb whatever she's got going on. So you don't really need help. What you need to do is calm your ass down and look about somebody else of those millions of people that's on Instagram to find some kind of comfort or liking or something. If you're supposed to be with her, you guys will cross paths again. I'm a very firm believer in that. What is for you is for you. It doesn't matter 
rain, snow, relationship, circumstance, uh, uh, obla, whatever. You know what I'm saying? What's for you is going to be for you. So if you and this young lady are supposed to be together at some point, either for a season or a reason, you will be. But there's no proper way to ask her friend for her number. If she wanted to contact you, she would have done that before she deactivated her account. Just simply saying. Okay. So this is Freaky Fridays here on TalkRadio.com. And I'm going to play... Um, what am I going to play right now? Ah, yes. I am going to play... I just finished playing a Chapter 9 song because he's freaking amazing. Love his music. I'm going to put on this one of his songs I put on earlier because I like it. And I said earlier I was going to play it again. So I'm going to play it again. So ha! <laughs> you guys, you played that already. Yes, I did. But guess what? Rex is not here. And I'm doing my own shit so I can play what I want to play. So this is Chapter 9, Bad Priority. And it is Freaky Fridays on TalkRadio.com. A the big vice be tuned by the artist. A the big vice be tuned by the artist. A the big vice be tuned by the artist. Yo, yo. Oh, no, I said the hype. To them have a one house and them have a one car and, and I ride a big bike. But them other day a country a new school stove and still a new candlelight. Them priority no right, them a floss in a night and broke in a daylight. Look at who them a say wife, some old chill on pipe, now fi take off the stripe. One, some boy no fi live long, cause them a live wrong, me a fi sing me song. Two, I me no business a who from you a move loo, but you and your crew. Three, could a never be a school. Feet, but them in a dance all pump a laughing spree Four, me see the cap four pound floor But your mother they a country a sleep out a door Five, them boy they no fi survive Me no in a dat, them pitney them a deprive Six, them a go lose like the Knicks vote out But this a no politics Them a say them hype To them have a one house and them have a one car And, and a ride a big bike but them other day a country a new school stove and still a use candle light. Priority no right, them a floss in a night and broke in a daylight. Look at who them a say wife, some old chill on pipe, now fi take off the stripe. Well, me know them, me know the type, ever clean, ever bossy, them ever hype. Look into this, like he's a sniper, me sniper, but man, me a live like him, not no life. He turned me, like he's a baby, me be right, he's a rebel angry, like me want me fight. No profession, dirty is your life, but a man, but a man, yeah, he do it his wife. Let me rebuild them with all me might Watch them as scatter light, them as scatter light Don't come over me then, don't even try Fist on them, yeah, me have a right Them as say them I To them have a one house and them have a one car And, and I ride a big bike But them other day a country a use cold stove And still a use candle light Priority no right, them a floss in a night And broke in a daylight Look at who them a say white So more chill up, pipe, now fi take off his drive One, some boy no fi live long Cause them a live wrong, me a fi sing me song Two, I me no business a who from You a move blue, but you and your crew Three, could a never be a school fee But them in a dance all pump a laughing spree Four, me see the cap four pound floor But your mother they a country a sleep out the door Five, them boy they no fi survive I me no in a dat, them beat me, them a deprive Six, them a go lose like the next four out, but this a no politics Them a say them I, to them have a one house And them have a one car and, and a ride a big bike But them a dat they a country a use full stove And still a use candle light Priority no right, them a floss in a night And broke in a daylight Look at who them a say white, so more chill up For him a fit the coffee strike Talk Radio comes Freaky Friday, Chapter 9, Bad Priority. Love that song. He's super talented. He's got a lot of things going on. Shout out to Udenic Media. I heard they were in Jamaica recently shooting some music videos for him. So shout out to Udenic Media and Chapter 9. You guys are amazing. And you guys look forward to that soon. It should be on YouTube soon enough. And check those things out. Focus Like a Telescope um, is one of the songs I think we played last week or the week before or something. When I, the last time I was live, I think I put it on. So you guys go ahead and follow Chapter 9. C-H-A-P-T-A-N-Y-N-E. Amazing reggae artist. All right, so we're going to wind on the show soon, you guys. Don't start complaining to me, damn it. That's how it goes. <laughs> but I'm going to do a couple more emails and send you off with one nice naughty song because there's a lot of people that are tuned in telling me they're getting so horny and so turned up by what they're hearing. So I'll send you guys off with a nice 
you know, grab her hair, spank her ass song before we get off the air tonight. Um, I know you guys are having some interesting conversations, so I'm sure I started a couple of arguments this evening, which is, you know, it shouldn't be arguments. It's just, you know, conversations, just conversations. All right. So, um, all right. So I've got my three questions here lined up to finish off with. Let's dig into some shit. How often should you masturbate in a week for good health? Hmm, depends on how old you are. <laughs> um, listen, I heard guys, young guys, and again, probably the best. Sorry, live radio, you guys, live radio. Um, I heard guys like teenage boys are like constantly yanking on it. My son is sixteen, going on seventeen, and they are constantly. <laughs> he was constantly whacking off, like sometimes a couple times a goddamn day. Um, so you masturbate as much as you can. It's good, it, you know. It's a, your penis is a muscle. You know, treat it as such. You whack off, you know what I'm saying? And then you, you know, it, you build it. You, you build how long your endurance can last. You build, you know, the muscle around it. It's, it's a muscle. You got to work it out. I mean, you can't tie a dumbbell to it and, and flex it. You know what I'm saying? So you got to, you got to touch it and pull it and tug it. So I guess as much as, you're, and if you've got a heart condition, you probably shouldn't be doing it too much. Right? So I guess it depends on your health level and your age. But it's always a good thing to knock yourself off. And it's for women too. You know, women are very stush. I know a lot of women say, well, they don't, they don't masturbate. Um, they would prefer a guy to go around and then not only that I'm going to challenge some of my couples this evening damn it I'm going to throw the gauntlet down start some arguments and start some sexual conversations any of my couples that are tuned in tonight I'll give you a challenge yeah I want you guys when you get off the show and I'm going to I guess I'm going to give you a nice slam around song before we get off but I want the couples who are listening who are able this is for the ladies this is for the ladies this is for the ladies I'm going to need you ladies to sit across a room from your dude, if you can. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Let him sit on the chair at the end of the bed. And I need you to get on the bed. I need you to part your legs. I need you to masturbate for your man tonight. Ah, ah, but he can't touch you till you're finished. <laughs> right? This is not the pre-warm. I need you to literally give him an orgasm. I need you to let him look at you. I need you to get your fingers down there. No insertion, though. This is the challenge. No insertion. He can't put a finger in. You can't put a finger in. Strictly saliva and clitoral stimulation. No insertions. I need you guys to perform for your men tonight. All right? These porno bitches got nothing on you. Why? Because even though their coochies might be shaved and whatever else, they can't access those women, but they can access you. They can smell you when you're doing it. They can watch what you're doing. I need you to sit there, take your time. Lick your fingers if necessary, ladies. You know what the fuck you need to do. Now, you can have him participate by spitting on your vagina if you're into that kind of shit. But strictly clitoral stimulation only, no insertions. Perform for your man tonight. Give him a nice orgasm. And if you can stand another one when you're done, let him go ahead and finish it off. That's the challenge tonight. All the couples that are tuned in, ladies, are going to need you to masturbate for your man tonight. Gonna need you to do it. That's what, that's what your, that's your homework for talk radio tonight. I need you to play with your pussy for your man tonight. Let him sit in a chair, probably sitting on his hands so he can't touch you. The anticipation is going to blow his mind. But it's something that you guys can do, and it's something that you guys can do and just make your relationship a little stronger. It doesn't have to be all these prudish things. You don't have to look like a porn star when you're doing it. You can giggle, you can laugh. It's fun. But that's the same pussy that pushed those babies out for him. That's the same pussy he was beating up whatever let them look at it so many women now when they get to a certain age they get a couple stretch marks and the boobs are hanging and they want to fuck in the dark turn the fucking lights on put a spotlight on your pussy tonight play with your pussy for your man tonight that's your fucking homework from talkradio.com starting some bullshit tonight i'm just saying next question is somebody wants to know tell me a secret of yours you guys are so fucking nosy all right, I'll play along. Fuck it. Now, I've mentioned this on the show before, but I mean, it's still kind of a secret. If you guys have just tuned in and you don't know, you're not aware. So come close to the microphone. Let me tell you a secret. <laughs> I am quite obsessed with animated porn. That's my secret. I'm very obsessed with animated porn. And not the stupid shit they put up. Like, not the fucking, you know, um, watching the family guy members, um, cast members fuck each other and shit like that. None of that. There's, like, this Japanese porn called Hente. H-E-N-T-A-I. I know you guys have to look into shit when I tell you, right? I'm quite... A, it's, it's a lot of domination and, you know, a lot of just freaky, kinky shit. Very much into that. <laughs> just, and something called Futunari, right? So there's, like, uh, chicks with dicks. 
I was like a lot of transvest animated transvestites with gigantic cocks fucking each other. I don't know why that turns me on, but it does. So that's my secret. There it is. You know. Now you know. <laughs> right? You guys are fucking nosy. There it is. All right. And we got one last question before we play the last song. And this show is over for the evening. All right. Sex and being more dominating. All right. That's the, that's the subject line. So I recently started dating a girl I really liked and had a crush on for years. And we are sexually really compatible. And it's honestly been going really great. I really care about her. And when we have sex, it's good. And we're loving and everything. But she also likes when someone aggressively treats her like a sub or a little slut. And we talked about consent, all that, and comfort zones. And normally, I really enjoy doing it too. But for some reason, I can't fully bring myself to do it. And I want to. And I know if we do it once, it would be good. But every time I try, I just kind of go back to the routine. And I don't know how to get over the hurdle. And we are intimate a lot. Like... Like a lot. Sometimes a change of pace and roles is nice and fun. By the way, we've only been dating for three months and it's long distance, so we don't see each other every day. Okay, so it sounds like you're telling me. Well, first of all, let me just say, woo wee! Yes, right? So, as a business owner and a pretty independent woman, oh, I long for the day when I can find someone to make me submissive. I've not had the pleasure of that yet. Looking forward to it. Haven't had the pleasure of it yet. I am usually the aggressor in my situations. And sometimes it's really good and fun when someone allows me to take that control from them. It's really nice. Um, I've not found someone to make me submissive yet. I've got a target in mind. But, uh, you know, whatever. We'll see how that works out. But it sounds like you're saying that you're you know, you you're with her. And you're really feeling her or whatever. And you can't seem to bring yourself to that place where you're pulling her hair and spanking her ass. And i got to tell you, men... A lot of women, more women are into that than they will tell you. They are. They're, they're just into that shit. They really, it's a nice thing. And I was mentioning this on... The real of it is, right, you know, there has to get to that point. And if you've got to, you know, if you've got to do the role play, think of yourself as like one of those fucking rappers. Like, we don't know how the rappers get down, right? You just, you want to you get to that headspace where you got on some jeans and some Tim's and, you, and your baseball cap and shit. You just saw some different New York vibe type shit. I don't, I don't know what you need to do to put in your head. But I can assure you, there is nothing like, you know, a man knowing when there's a difference, right? And I was explaining this on a show, I forgot which show, but somewhere in the archives, but I'm saying, not all the time do you want to have that, what I like to call R&B sex. It's not every time I come check my man, I want to hear the fucking Jodeci or the fucking Keith Sweat. There's a time and a place for that. There's also a time and a place, you know, for, um, you know, just that, that romantic, whatever, sometimes it's the sex, and there's sometimes where, and my West Indian ladies, I know you know, my West Indian ladies, I know you know, and I want to put this song on for you just now, there's sometimes where, you know, we get ahead of ourselves, right, um, they say wind up in a dance and soft in the bed, there's some songs that come on sometimes that just make you want to, make you feel like you think you're, like you got like some bionic pussy or something, the song comes on, you lose your fucking mind, all you keep thinking is, I want to do the same shit I do to this guy in the club naked, and then you remember, it's not as easy as you think. You know, now there's some women that can do it. I'm going to be honest. Let me tell you guys a story. Fuck it. Story time. Okay. So, <laughs> I was dating a guy, very well endowed, really into this guy. There's nothing that we didn't do with each other. We were very safe and very secure. And I remember, you know, thinking to myself, um, hmm, you know, I, I feel adventurous. I, I can do something. So I go and I jump up on his ass, um, which was not a normal thing for me. We had this really special position we would be in all the time where I could feel everything. Like this this extension to the missionary position where I could feel his ball slapping on my ass. I could feel every inch of his dick feel like it was up in my fucking throat. It was fantastic. But in this particular instance, I went to jump on him. <laughs> Right? And I get up there and roll unto me. I'm a, I'm a fucking clown, right? So I joke around even when I'm having sex. So I get up there forgetting how well endowed he is. And I kind of get stuck. Because in my head I'm like, yes, this song is on. I'm going to break his shit. I'm talking mad shit. Ah, I'm going to break it. <laughs> and I get the fuck up there and I go, oh my God. He's got so much more dick than I remember. And I get there and I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> and he's looking at me like, baby, you okay? And he's like, mm-hmm. He's like, you're stuck, aren't you? He's like, mm-hmm. 
<laughs> and I kind of lean back and I start laughing. Now, the worst thing to do, ladies, you might have experienced this before, when you're riding a well endowed guy, the worst thing you can do is laugh while you're on his dick. You're contracting the muscles in your stomach, he's going up. It's a situation. It's a situation. So I'm simply saying, you know, I say all that to say, <laughs> look, find the headspace you need to and figure it out. She wants it. It's something she wants. If you guys have already gotten to the, the level of, you know, domination and stuff in three months, interesting. Now, if you really are opposed to it, and I say this all the time, if sex or something sexual makes you uncomfortable, just don't do it because then you won't enjoy it. Right, then then you don't you just won't enjoy it. So that's my take on that. Um I got some who's giving me some shout outs? <laughs> he better dive in and pull her hair, god damn it. I tell you the dignitaries are chiming in. Dive in and pull that's what I said. Pull her hair and spank her ass. Maybe you can start off with a necktie. Start with the necktie thing. You can pretend you're treating her like the bitch she's acting like. And it, bitch is a female dog, guys. It's not it's not that serious, right? Put a necktie on her neck. You know, get on a doggy side position, pull it. That way she can control where it's going in and out. And it's a situation where you guys will be fine. And smack her ass. Look at Sometimes you guys get into this motion of, you you know, you hit it or whatever. You need to slap a woman's ass. It's a certain angle to the shit. You can't just hit it. Like you got to kind of cup your hand and smack it. you got to hear the sound come back. You know, you want to feel your hand bounce off the shit. There's a way to do it. She doesn't want to feel like she's being spanked. She wants to feel like she's being fucked. There's a difference. There is a difference. Please believe me when I tell you. There's a difference. I don't want to feel like I'm being disciplined by my dad. But I definitely want to feel like... I don't even... Okay, I can't read that. Right now somebody sent me something. Is messing me. Ooh, yes, wait a minute. Mm, yes, choke my ass and fuck... Ooh, ooh, yes. As I'm saying, so I'm getting people chiming in. As I'm saying, you couples get together and do all that naughty shit you need to do. But yes, choking is great. And let me tell you why choking is great. And it has to be done properly, right? There is something spectacularly magnificent <laughs> that happens when you start to lose oxygen when you're fucking, especially when you're in that downstroke position and the oxygen is cut off to your brain for a few seconds. Your orgasm is so heightened. Again, it has to be done the right way, but it is so fucking amazing. I mean, you, you're, you're between feeling every pore on your body opened up and these little blue spots in front of your eyes, but it can only be for a few seconds. You don't want the person to actually pass out. You know, you just want to heighten the orgasm. That's it. Do it right. And the whole pulling the hair thing, this is where you guys can have fun and figure out who your chick is at the same time. If you're pulling her hair and it comes off in your hand, well, I suggest you make sure the dick is really good because she'll be super pissed. And just make sure you're prepared to buy her back her lace front or whatever when you fuck her hair up. But I'm simply saying, yeah, pull her, pull my hair, spank my ass, choke me. Let's have a good fucking grown up time. I'm just saying. Anyway, this has been an episode of Freaky Fridays on TalkRadio.com. I'm going to give you guys one more song. This is the go away. Slam something around, have a good goddamn time song. This one's called Brock It Down, the raw version. Enjoy this, and when I come back, I'll say all my goodbyes, and we'll take it from there. This is Freaky Fighters on talkradio.com. Brock It Down. Fuck and I just put it till I put it on You never catch no disease, nah, you went on The way you put it, make me happy, make me tacky down Girl, let me put it, make me suck it up More time, me, I want them to have my feet So, pray to come Woo! Who hold me tight and brace for me Your pussy tight, it a grip me cocky In a you hold me and send me cocky Skinny toes, skinny toes, skinny toes, baby Your body is it Baby, your body is full of energy so I ain't bad, they can't like I'm a god you Can't let me think me tell you about the ballad But me for fuck in a deep bush in a deep makache What a pussy fat, what a pussy free What a ass big, for me to be free The pussy pretty like the old thing I'm cherry too Who want me tight and brace for me The pussy tight is a strip me kake In a young who want me a set me kake Skinny down, skinny down, skinny down, baby Who want me tight and brace for me your pussy tight, it's a grip, me cocky In a young hole, me a send me cocky Skinny down, skinny down, skinny down, baby When me don't you walk it on me So why in panic, cocky with your nasty Then over to just go see me cocky It's a girl like you, me it won't breathe No a real thing, no me not can see No man can get your body cause it's not free No other girl, me no one, girl, I do me need I ain't 
Tonin ko si ti wine 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 Mi pwini kaki ko Kasi yung pani kaki dyan ang baki dong Di ba kena dyan puti sila puti no Can never catch no disease na giwe non Di ba yung puti me di api me di kaki jo Dela ni po pretty me di saki na Mungo tayin mi ang wanda si wang matita Kaya trick me a run out with my loko ka Uwan mi tayin dam riyas pa me Yung puti tayin di tag trick di kaki Ina yo uwal mi a sin mi kaki Kini don, kini don, kini don, baby Uwal mi tayin dam riyas pa me Yo puti tayi tita grip mi kake Ina yo uwal mi a sin mi kake Kini don, kini don, kini don, baby Doki don, doki don, doki don Es kanin katen yo gal doki don Doki don, doki don Es kanin katen yo gal Swapri.com's comes Freaky Fridays. So clearly, I'm starting trouble, which I love. <laughs> People are telling me I'm starting trouble. I don't know how, but I appreciate it. I gotta say, uh, so confessions. Um, I don't know. For some reason, first of all. I love when I have an interactive show. Um, I love the fact that you guys are behind the scenes and messaging me through Facebook Messenger and on the on the computer, on my phone, on WhatsApp, and all these things. I appreciate you guys immensely. Yeah, but I can also I just love when you guys are sharing this thing. I heard there's people sitting around in their offices. I want to shout out to all the people that are tuned in from Brooklyn Hospital right now, tucked away in the janitor's closets and in the nurses' rooms and stuff, tuned into freaking talk radio. If you guys don't get in trouble, don't get busted, don't get fired. But I want to give a shout out to you. I want to give a shout out to my people that are tuned in from Presbyterian Hospital they said the show is making the time pass a little better shout out to the bus drivers who got me in one ear riding around on the MTA right now you motherfuckers I love you I'm simply saying I got some other people that uh, spread the link to their co-workers. I'm not sure where they're working, but I heard they were sending it around. So shout out to Mr. Rob making this thing a movement amongst his friends and co-workers. I appreciate you. There are people who are saying they want to be involved in the show. You guys know some things are coming up. Let me give it to you one more time. We're supposed to be doing a relaunch for Memorial Weekend 2019. I'm also going to have some rotating... Um, male co-hosts that will be coming in from time to time to give a male perspective on the he said, she said type segment. We have some... Uh, Musical Money Mondays coming up in the fall where we'll be in some um, live lounges and things for some uh, invitation only type segments coming up. We do have some political figures that will be interviewed on the show soon obviously not on a Friday night or one of the other evenings of the week that's going to be really great. The show is expanding the numbers are growing we appreciate you guys and everything that you're doing and tuning in. If you want to advertise with us we'll make that option available for you as well i want to shout out to my vp of marketing who is tuned in about to make this thing a movement and a lifestyle change for him and his family is going to be fantastically amazing um shout out to my bay on babies um who i'll be linking up with tomorrow shout out to zaddy and his queen who are tuned in this evening shout out to anthony the lift driver shout out to my archivers mr b and danny the photog who i know are going to jump in here this evening shout out to j rod and my tactical consultants you guys are absolutely amazing shout out to rex I appreciate everything you do. And every time I got to do this show by myself, I appreciate you more and more. I'm so happy that everything is working out for your mom and the fans prayers have been seeping through and she's getting much better. And we hope to have you back in the studio with us soon. So as though, here's a confession. I I went off on a tangent. That song for some reason, by God's grace. Tonight's episode was the devaluation of the vagina. If you missed that part of the conversation, the archives will be available about five minutes after I get off the air on the website. But this one more time by Esconingo is Brock It Down, Freaky Fridays on TalkRadio.com. <laughs> We bring the khaki gum, so see don't panic khaki gun and rocky gum. The fuck and I just put it till I put it on. Then if I catch no disease, now you went on. The way you put it, me and me make the khaki gum. Girl, I need to put it in my sakina. No one time me, I want that to a magician. I just trick me and run away from the local gang. Who want me to eat and face for me? You put it in the tight, it's a trick me khaki. In a young world, me and send me khaki. Skinny down, skinny down, skinny down, baby. Your body, baby, your body full of energy. So 
God damn it, I've decided I'm gonna have to catch somebody's son to this song and do unspeakably pleasurable things to his penis. I've decided right here in this fucking moment, I've decided that. I have decided that's going to be my cock riding anthem. Damn it. That's it. <laughs> anyway, let me give a shout out to all of the independent artists' music that was showcased this evening. Shout out to the Showbiz Junkie. Shout out to Poncho Velasio. Shout out to Chapter Nine. Shout out to Rain. Shout out to who else did I play? Um, Brock Up. <laughs> and shout out to Escalingo. Okay, so you guys are familiar with the music and the songs now. Keep getting familiar. If you missed any portion of the show, I will make this archive available within the next five minutes or so. So if you missed something, you can go back and listen to it, fast forward through it, whatever you need to do. This has been another episode of Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio with your hostess, Cypher Kai. The devaluation of the vagina is a sad situation, and I'm sure we'll be talking about this again. Next week's topic is going to be the expectations of of a relationship let's start an argument you guys had that conversation during the course of the week and have some things to tell me when we come back next week for another episode of freaky fridays on talkradio.com see you next week